Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today, today is something interesting because we have another update and this update changed something that's really, really something that it, it just, you can't help but love. Uh, it, they added a new tool. Uh, it is the paintbrush tool. If I can equip it real quick. Uh, they added the paintbrush tool. What this does is allows us to change the color of certain objects. The objects that you can change the color of are carpets, beds, and paintings. Uh, the painting, the like the the head painting, not like the other paintings. Uh, you can just sw switch them back and forth between their colors. Uh, but the carpets and the bed are a little bit more interesting because you have a lot of colors to choose from. You can have a blue bed, a a, a green bed. Uh, you can have a yellow bed. I wouldn't recommend that. You can have an orange bed. Uh, you can have a pink bed. All kinds of beds that you can think of. Any color that you can think of. They have it now. This, I think, is a magenta. Uh, we have we have white, of course. Uh, we have gray. We have black. Oh, I guess we don't have black. Uh, we have uh, different colored carpets now. It's, it's very interesting to see that... Um, for whatever reason, we can't get a black bed, but we can get a black carpet. So if I if I can find it real quick, I know there's a black carpet in this somewhere because I saw it earlier when I was just playing around with it. Um, yeah, no, that's not maybe that's not black. Yeah, that's not black. It is it is a gray. Uh, that's my mistake. But we now have more colors to choose from with the carpets, which is going to lead to some very interesting things. Uh, people are probably going to start making little bits of artwork out of their house. So you're probably going to see people like try and, and do something like, uh, let's say, maybe they want to make a skeleton or something like that. So they do like a like a head, so to speak, uh, like this sort of <laughs> with some with some uh, blue eyes, because she, she has blue eyes, everyone knows that, right? So just a little bit of a, a blue up in there, you know? Something a bit like that. That's very terrible. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, people are probably gonna start making little, little bits of art now that we have several different colors of carpet. I guess we technically already had green and blue, but now we have stuff like magenta and white and, and gray and, and all these colors and it's it's it's, it's interesting. It's fun. It's going to be fun to see what people do with this. Um, something else to mention real quick. Uh, they changed the texture to the bookshelf again. I guess they, they got enough complaints to, to finally fix it, sort of. I still like the other one better, but they finally got rid of the legs on this bookshelf, so it doesn't look as bad now. Um, but there's no legs on this bookshelf now, so, so we can finally... Well, I guess not finally do something, but it's finally better than what it was when they originally changed it. Uh, the bed itself, if you haven't noticed, its texture has changed. I think the carpet texture has changed slightly. Uh, if it did, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but something else I want to mention real quick, you probably saw me changing the color of the carpet without actually you know, using the paint tool. You can change the color of carpets now by simply, you know, uh, pressing the space bar. You can press the space bar to change the color of carpets. Uh, this is this is a very quick way to do it. Uh, you can change the color of any object that's capable of changing colors just by pressing the space bar. So that's a really handy trick there. Uh, you will know that it's possible to change the color of it because a paintbrush will be visible next to the name of it. So cushion paintbrush. That tells me that I can change the color of it. Uh, same thing with the bed. If I load the bed up real quick. Ah, here's a paint. Here's a picture. A picture one paintbrush. I can change the color of that. And then of course the bed. Bed paintbrush. That means I can change the color of it with, before I even place it or whatever else. There we go. Now we have a red bed and a, and a magenta bed right right next to each other. We can just we can just have all the different colored beds just right next to each other. So other than all of this, there's not other many other changes of note here apart from random fixes to stuff like the clear house command, not getting rid of the toolbox, uh, you know, optimizing game performance, whatever that means. No one knows what that means because that's in every update. And of course, like I said, they improved the textures and stuff like that. Small things like that. But something else I want to mention about the paintbrush real quick before we get off here uh, is that if you accidentally, you know, make this green carpet yellow or something like that if you accidentally do that you can just hold shift and then press it again and it will go back so if i you know skip over it oh oh, I, oh no I, I pressed it twice i didn't mean to press it twice so i meant to press it once let me press it you know that way hold shift and uh you can go back so this white carpet if i hold shift if i don't if i don't hold shift on this white carpet it will turn into a, a gray carpet but if I hold shift, it will go back to white. Uh, so you can go back and forth this way. You can't do that while you're holding it. You can change the color of beds by pressing space, but you can't hold shift and press space to change the color back. 
if you want to change the color back you have to place it then switch over to your your paint tool and then hold shift and press it again that's the only way to change colors uh back and forth you know unless you want to go through all of the colors all over again to go back to it uh, i kind of wish there was a better way to do that but that's not a huge deal it's it's very easy to work around that but anyway that's going to do it for the video guys so uh thank you for watching if you watched i know it's a pretty short video but i wanted to talk about this update because it's, it's really it's kind of a big deal in my opinion i think a lot of interesting things are going to come of this um with the people with, with the with the community basically i, th I think we're going to see a lot of more interesting homes now uh so if we do uh feel free to share them share them on the the ponytown subreddit or share them on a, a ponytown amino share them somewhere so that i can see them and then maybe maybe just maybe i'll do a reaction video to some of the, the little homes that people made that's a video for another time so anyway please like subscribe share do those wonderful things because when you do those wonderful things you get access to wonderful content such as this that's not all you get that's not all you get you just get to become wonderful yourself, and I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.